So I'm Jesse, and we're talking today about a 2020 paper, Paxos versus Raft, have we reached consensus on distributed consensus? It's by Howard and Mortier, um, and I know that a number of uh, members of this reading group um, know Heidi and have uh, co-authored papers with her, um, but I'm gonna be objective about what I think about this nevertheless. So Paxos um, is the older of the two protocols. It was published in 1998, although uh, Lamport started, Leslie Lamport started uh, researching this topic in the late 80s um, and first tried to write the paper in 1990. Um, it's had 3,600 citations, perhaps. Uh, these are kind of flawed Google Scholar numbers. Um, the version of Paxos that we're gonna talk about today is multi-decree Paxos, which creates a uh, arbitrarily long log of decisions and changes to a replicated state machine. So that's what people actually use. And that's what we're referring to when we talk about Paxos. Paxos is a foundational algorithm in distributed consensus. Um, today's paper calls it synonymous with distributed consensus. Um, the paper that first described it called the part-time parliament uh, was written it kind of in this joking style as if it were not about uh, computers and networks and messages, but rather it was some lost description by an archeologist of an ancient Greek political system in which senators are wandering in and out of a room. Um, and when it was finally was published, there was another uh, layer of literary obfuscation on top of that, where one of Lamport's colleagues wrote uh, marginal notes about this supposed other archeologists notes about the system. Um, that's our contestant in one corner. In the other corner is Raft. Uh, it's had fewer citations, but it's had more in the last two years, according to these inaccurate numbers. So um, it may be pulling ahead in the long run. Um, it was designed to be understandable by um, Angaro and Osterhout. Um, in fact, the title is of the paper is that they are in search of an understandable consensus algorithm. Um, and it's a little bit self-referential because the understandability of the paper is one of the things that the paper is itself studying uh, and trying to prove. Um, but I think it does a pretty good job of that. Uh, according to uh, Dr. Howard in a presentation that I saw, um, she thinks that Raft is taking over, um, but that the distributed systems community is still divided between these two algorithms. Um, and uh, she claimed, and I also think that this is true, that uh, newer distributed systems are more likely to be based on Raft than on Paxos. Um, but I don't have any hard numbers for that. The main message of this paper, though, is that Raft and Paxos are very similar. Uh, they both have a single leader of a group of N servers. All rights go to the leader. The leader replicates the log entries to followers. Um, when it gets majority acknowledgement, it applies the operation to its replicated state machine and acknowledges back to the client. Uh, this continues until the leader fails. Um, other members detect the failure of the leader from some sort of timeout. Um, and then a new leader is elected by a majority of voters. And so the uh, group as a whole does not lose majority replicated changes and it's able to continue making progress as long as a majority is available. Uh, Raft and Paxos both satisfy these two core properties. Number one, that 
if a server has applied a log entry at a given index to its state machine, no other server will ever apply a different log entry for the same index. So that's what we mean by consensus. You only make one decision. Um, and also that if an operation is committed at index I by a leader in turn T, then all leaders after it will also have that operation at index I. So once you make a decision, you do not lose it. Um, so they both solve the same problems, which are these. How do we design a system that satisfies these safety properties for a replicated state machine given um, unreliable individual servers and an unreliable network? And they come up with very, very similar answers. And for me, one of the great values of reading this paper was that, um, so I know Raft very well, and I really don't know Paxos because um, I've been intimidated. And anyway, uh, MongoDB uses Raft and that's where I work. Um, seeing Paxos explained in this paper as a variant of Raft, more or less, basically explaining Paxos in the same terms and in the same style as the Raft paper would have, um, that was incredibly helpful for me. And I understand Paxos so much better now than I did before. Um, I think one of the things that's gonna be really valuable about this paper, kind of the more Raft takes over, the more people there will be like me who understand Raft first, and then occasionally need to learn about Paxos. And this paper would be a really good starting point for people like us. Um, I wanna do a little digression here. There was a paper, the year before called on the parallels between Paxos and Raft and how to port optimizations. Um, I think that if you're interested in this Paxos versus Raft uh, question, um, this is also a very interesting paper. It actually shows that uh, Raft is a refinement of Paxos, or you could call it a refinement of Paxos. Um, there's just a couple of su significant differences um, that would prevent you from doing this. So you need to change Raft in two ways. First of all, um, elections. In Paxos, uh, an arbitrary server wins an election, um, but then it needs to catch up by replicating any missing log entries from the followers. Whereas in Raft, um, the server that is elected is guaranteed to at least have reached the majority commit point, if not further. Um, so if you update Raft to use the Paxos selection uh, protocol, then you're partway there. And then the next thing you have to do is that uh, in Paxos as part of the um, sort of recovery process, you can end up use, uh, writing a log entry with a newer term than it originally was written on a different node. Um, and in Raft, uh, once a log entry is created, it will always have the same index value and term wherever it's replicated. So you also have to change that in Raft. Um, once you do these two kind of medium-sized changes, um, then it turns out that Raft is just a refinement of Paxos, and they show that in TLA plus in this paper. Um, the actual point of that uh, is not just to show that the algorithms are more similar than people think, but also that um, this whole ecosystem of Paxos optimizations are almost all portable to Raft. And by showing the refinement relationship, um, it creates a pretty sort of mechanical and foolproof method for uh, doing that process. Um, and, the, and this paper does that with two specific optimizations, uh, porting them from Paxos to Raft. So um, I recommend that as a follow-up paper if anybody's interested. And now that's the end of the digression and back to Paxos versus Raft by Howard and Mortier. So uh, their paper says that Raft has these three advantages. Um, its style of presentation, the uh, simplicity of the algorithm and the efficiency of its leader election protocol. So we're gonna talk about those three things in order. Um, first of all, presentation. Um, I've got uh, 
So Lamport um, was interviewed by uh, Microsoft in 2012. And um, this is a, a paraphrase of what he said. I'm going to read the whole thing because I think it's funny um, in case you haven't read this yourself. So Lamport says, inspired by my success at popularizing the consensus problem by distribute, describing it with Byzantine generals, I decided to cast the algorithm in terms of a parliament on an ancient Greek island. Writing about a lost civilization allowed me to eliminate uninteresting details and indicate generalizations by saying that some details of the parliamentary protocol had been lost. To carry the image further, I gave a few lectures in the persona of an Indiana Jones style archeologist replete with Stetson hat and hip flask. My attempt at inserting some humor into the subject was a dismal failure. People who attended my lecture remembered Indiana Jones, but not the algorithm. People reading the paper apparently got so distracted by the Greek parable that they didn't understand the algorithm. Among the people I sent the paper to and who claimed to have read it were Nancy Lynch, Vassos, Hadzalakos, and Phil Bernstein. A couple of months later, I emailed them the following question, quote, can you implement a distributed database that can tolerate the failure of any number of its processes without losing consistency and that will resume normal behavior when more than half the processes are again working properly, end quote. Uh, Lamport says that none of the people he emailed noticed any connection between this question and the Paxos algorithm. So <sighs> Lamport didn't mean to make Paxos harder to understand by writing it in this literary style. I think that he was both having fun and actually hoping that in some ways, taking it out of the realm of computers and networks would make it easier to understand. Um, but he admits that this was a big failure. Uh, in contrast, Raft, uh, with the benefit of hindsight, took the opposite approach. They said, our approach was unusual in that our primary goal was understandability. Could we define a consensus algorithm for practical systems and describe it in a way that is significantly easier to learn than Paxos, which I think is a low bar, but they more than cleared it. Um, they said, furthermore, we wanted the algorithm to facilitate the development of intuitions that are essential for system builders. It was important not just for the algorithm to work, but for it to be obvious why it works. Um, and they did a study in the paper um, they uh, had teams of students try to implement Paxos and try to implement Raft, um, and they found that Raft was easier to understand and to implement. Um, an interesting question here is, uh, was that because of how they wrote the paper or because of how simple the Raft algorithm is? Um, and I don't know the answer. Uh, so presentation is number one. The second of the three advantages is simplicity. Um, so Raft, uh, the main simplification is that it comes to consensus on its decisions in order. The fourth log entry uh, has to be committed before the fifth, whereas um, Paxos can decide things out of order and end up with holes in the log. And that causes a fair amount of complexity in the Paxos algorithm that Raft can skip. Um, and then there's this minor point that Paxos can actually overwrite a log entry and uh, increase the term number. Um, so not all replicas have the same log, whereas in Raft, um, once a log entry is written, it always has the same term. Um, that's simplicity. Uh, I think that these are small to medium sized as advantages. And then the third of the three uh, is that Raft has an efficient leader election. So um, Paxos, uh, its election protocol, every Paxos server has an ID 01234. Um, and when a Paxos server runs for election, uh, it um, chooses a higher term number to run for election if it has a larger ID. So if multiple servers are running for election, the server with the higher ID tends to win. Um, but it might not be the most up-to-date, so it has to 
replicate logs from followers. Um, Raft, on the other hand, uh, every server always just chooses the next term to run for election. And so it's possible for three or more servers to run for election in a term. None of them gets a majority, and then they have to do a uh, random sleep and a retry until an election succeeds. Um, in our experience at MongoDB, this really isn't much of a problem. Um, and uh, the trade-off is that the server that is most up-to-date tends to win in Raft, um, and it never needs to replicate logs. So it's available for writes much sooner. Um, and at MongoDB, it's actually a pretty common problem for some followers to get hours or even days behind if one of the followers is on a slower network or slower hardware, uh, it can get pathologically out of date. Uh, if it were to win an election, that would be a catastrophe because it would be unable to accept rights again uh, until it had finished replicating and that could take hours or days. So I think that this is a really huge win for Raft. Um, on the other hand, I'm curious whether this optimization could be ported back to Paxos um, or whether that would be difficult. So the conclusion of Howard and Mortier is that the Raft paper claims that Raft is significantly more understandable than Paxos and as efficient. On the contrary, we find that the two algorithms are not significantly different in understandability, but Raft's leader election is surprisingly lightweight when compared to Paxos. Um, Dr. Howard in her presentation said, it usually doesn't matter which you choose. They're incredibly similar and optimizations that apply to one are almost always applicable to the other. Uh, I have three takeaways from this. Um, I think that widespread fear of Paxos's complexity is mostly due to the obfuscated original paper. There has been a lot of re-explaining. Lamport wrote a, you know, Paxos made simple, and then there are lots of other follow-ons, but the original presentation still has this very powerful effect on Paxos even today. Um, and Raft's very clear original explanation also has a very powerful effect. I think that uh, computer science is path dependent and your first impression really matters. Um, a side note on this, uh, MongoDB was redesigning our reconfiguration algorithm, how you add and remove nodes from a group. And I was reading part-time parliament and it talks about this in Paxos. And it's got some optimization where you, at, at in term T, you say that the configuration time will change in the future at T plus K. Lamport does not explain why this is better than just doing it in the next immediate term. And Paxos Made Simple doesn't talk about group reconfiguration and I haven't been able to find anywhere else that actually explains why this is a good idea. So I would have to either ask Leslie or start a research project to try to recreate his finding. Um, the fact that there was no, uh, in contrast, Raft has two different reconfiguration algorithms and they're both crystal clear. So even though we've re-explained Paxos many times, there are still details in the original paper that uh, are at risk of just being lost completely because of how it was explained. So um, my other thought while I was reading this is that view stamped replication is a common ancestor of most of these algorithms and it's really underrated. Uh, when I read it, I found it incredibly easy to understand, very powerful, mostly solves the same problems. I'm surprised that people uh, don't more often read view stamped replication first. And uh, my final takeaway is that the efficient elections seem like a really huge win for Raft and I would be worried about Paxos. Um, I would really want some way to mitigate that problem uh, if I were to put that in production. 
And that's my presentation. Thank you.